Good morning and welcome to the 14th day of the easing of our confinement to float style. One of our viewers asked me if I could do peacock pose. I've never tried peacock pose. I've actually never even heard of peacock pose. So I looked it up and I've been trying for the last few days. So bear with me, I'm gonna try it again to show on the beaches if I am doing this properly. I'm gonna try this again because I noticed that I cut my head off. <laughs> I did it even better! <laughs> All right, on with today. It's review time again, and this time I was looking through our footage on how to heave to on a catamaran, and there were quite a few of you that commented on that episode that said you cannot heave to properly on a catamaran. We're hove too, bitches. We disproved that you could. Now we just uh, put out the gym. Still, uh, the main is still reef. And we are doing 12, 13 knots. Over 20 knots of wind it's kind of gusting up and down and we're doing about eight knots of speed through the water right now speed over ground uh, surfing even higher than that and the, the seas are easily two meters maybe even a little bit more very very short swells very steep and choppy and screwed up so it's not storm conditions but it is not 10 knots of flat calm and it should give us some idea whether or not this boat can heave two or not Let's find out. Okay, ready? Ready. Speed over ground is down to less than two knots. The helm is all the way over and the main is back. So now we're gonna slide backwards a little bit and let's see what happens to the, to the setting here. Okay, the bow's coming down about 40 degrees and then starts coming up again. The most speed we saw right now was just about one and a half knots forward or through the water just about a little under two knots. Less than that even, almost zero. So, and we're maintaining about 30 degrees to the swells. There's a really good slick on the oh, leeward wow. side. Wow, look at that, look at that slick. So that slick, you can see that it's kind of into the direction of the breaking waves. So theoretically, if the seas were really, really bad, that sort of sideways slick helps knock down a little bit. I chose to review heaving two because it's actually really important to know how to heave two. We have done it so many times when we were in the two motus. You arrive at an atoll at a pass and it's still dark and you have a few hours to kill. So instead of just sailing back and forth, back and forth, you heave two, which basically you park the boat and you wait. This is why you don't go through a pass yeah. at night. Could you imagine going through this at night, let alone during the day. Holy moly! Oh. Honey, don't don't do those noises, okay? Okay. Have you 
we okay? Warn me of a breaking wave. I will. We're okay. We're good? We're it looks, good. Looks pretty good? We're good. We were down to one knot there for a minute. Wow. You got this, babe. You're doing fantastic. Okay, just warn me of a breaking wave, okay? I will. behind us so I'm putting the camera away because I can feel some sprinkles. That was a little interesting. <laughs> Baby, high five, do the worst part. Good job, my love. <laughs>